Hey everybody and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday with me, Adventures with Peps. I am trying to, what's the word, reinvigorate my Warhammer 40k. I've fallen off the wagon with the uh, the whole Warhammer 40k franchise at the moment. So I'm, I'm going back old school. I'm picking stuff that I want to paint. And obviously I've still got the Warhammer 40k Imperium magazines to push through they're not doing it for me and I think because of that I lost a lot of momentum with Warhammer 40k in general so I've gone back to doing stuff that I want to enjoy which is going to be the Eldari of the Iaden Warhost and Gene Steeler Cults and of course some Orcs there's going to be some Orcs in there somewhere but for now I'm looking at painting up Tyranids, Gene Steeler Cults that kind of stuff at the moment I'm very much feeling it the alien vibes so I've dug up my old Gene Steeler cult models. I only had one squad, uh, unfinished painting, of course, of course. I then have a ton of Gene Steelers spread across Space Hulk. Um, I've got Lost Patrol is another one that's full of Gene Steelers. Like I said, Space Hulk. I've also got the Space Marine game, the board game from Target, which is full of um, termagants. So between that, I have a pretty good sized force of something i need a codex to work out if it can actually become a force but with multiple squads of gene stealers i've got at least two squads maybe 20 easily got a squad of termagants i've got a patriarch i'm not sure if i can use that in a normal tyranid force like i said i've really fallen off the 40k wagon so i'm gonna see if this paint scheme gets me back into it i'm not picking any hive fleet in particular i was looking at leviathan because it kind of looked weird and creepy the white the purple but i didn't like it too much i also looked at the old school color scheme where it was purples and pinks and blues that also wasn't doing it for me but i do like purple I'm very much into purple, so this model is going to end up being very purple. And hopefully by the end of it I'll have a model that I like, and if I do, I will do all my Gene Steelers in a similar colour scheme, and hopefully you'll like it too. Make sure you drop me a comment to let me know if you do or not, and we'll see how we go. Now, I knew I was going to do some light colours, so I kicked off the model with a good solid primer of white. And then we did all the fleshy tones with Magos. It's a contrast paint. I really watered it down because I wanted to make sure it looked more pinkish than purple. These are the fleshy undertones of this model. And I made sure I hit the feet, the hands, the head, the little weird veiny things on the arms. I'm not entirely sure what those ribbed areas are. I'm just going to call them fleshy areas for the rest of this video. But yeah, nice, simple, going over it, just one hit. Didn't I want to see how it dries before I added it anymore. And whilst it was drying, I grabbed the Luxion purple and decided to paint the whole body, which is where we are now. Now, this is a lot of purple. It's maybe more than I actually planned for. I'll be honest here. And it's worrying me at this stage. <laughs> it's definitely at the ugly stage. I'm just going to keep following my ideas as they come along but yeah i'm a little bit worried at this point i grabbed the flesh uh flesh tira red and i'm gonna do his tongue with that and then i'm gonna water it down and use it on the fleshy areas again uh things like the veins on the forehead the ribbed areas on the arms i am a little bit worried this purple has come out a lot stronger than i thought it was going to and uh it looks weird I think, it, I think the base being white as well is not helping me. It's kind of washing everything out. But we're going to, as with most things, I find other painters have said this as well, but models have an ugly stage. They don't look the way you imagine them in your head yet. And it's very easy to just be like, you know what, I've gone wrong. We're going to start again. But I'm trying to push through. The fact that you're seeing this video should probably tell you that I'm happy with the last results. But I thought it's worth showing this process. Showing that 
I went into this being really confident. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have this purple gene stealer. It's going to be so cool. I've got this purple color that I really like. Give it some fleshy tones. I'll have it working with my blessed wormlings gene stealer cult. I'll have a sweet ass army by the end of the year with very little effort. And now that I'm painting it, I'm like, <laughs> is this color scheme actually going to work? But we'll see. We'll see. Now, I'm trying to pick out areas that would have slightly more color to them as it's meant to be a fleshy tone. So as you can see, I'm grabbing the veins on the forehead right now and I'm doing all the shadowy areas on the hands. But yeah, I'm really unsure. I keep stopping and staring at this model as I'm painting it and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm just making a mess. Is this like <laughs> going to look crap at the end of it? I hate second guessing myself, but sometimes you have to. Like I was blobbing that in. And then I'm like, what am I doing? This is way too dark. Way too dark. So I dried off the brush, absorbed some of it up. I am probably going to hit it with some water to water it down. But yeah, I'm going to try and use less pigment. There we go. I'm just darken down things. I don't want to flood it red. I don't want it to look red. I don't want it to be red. But I want it to look like raw flesh, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to take my time, see if I can get this to work for me. I'm getting worried. Um, I'm not entirely sure the scheme is working. I'm now using Iaden Yellow on the eyes. I don't know why. I think it it's just going to look otherworldly. <laughs> what am I doing? I honestly don't know. Uh... I, obviously I have a finished model in my hand right now but last night when I was painting this model I had no clue what I'm doing now grabbing Gillum and Flesh Shade and I'm going to do all the claws with this and the teeth it, it's terrifying me right now I'm just looking at this purple it's not dried the way I thought it was going to over the white prime it's so bright it's the same color as the cut and mat um, that I'm painting over. I'm just, I'm not sold on it at all. I'm like genuinely worried at this stage. Am I going to have even a video at the end of this? Am I going to be painting for half an hour and have nothing to show? Or will I actually be able to make a video out of it? These are genuine feelings that I'm having. Uh, if you ever feel that way when you're painting a figure, make sure you Drop a comment below. Tell me, tell me how often it works for you. I think I lucked out on this gene stealer by the end, but yeah, I was genuinely worried that this was going to have to go into some cleaner and get stripped back, <laughs> and we'd have to go again. It's hard. It's hard trying to come up with a color scheme. Obviously, I was inspired by Leviathan, hence the paleness and the purple. But I did not like the fact that the entire body was pale white. That didn't sit well with me. So I tried to mix it up by making it all purple, but it became a lot of purple. A lot. Right, pretty much got most of the nails done now. At some point I'm going to put a black rim on the base and also stick some uh, mud compound onto it. Ultimately, I want my army to be probably like 50-50 split of gene stealer cults and tyranids. So I want to be able to have a large part of my force interchangeable between the two. And as I'm doing blessed wormlings, they obviously come from a graveyard world. So I'm imagining lots of mud, lots of muck. So I'm going to go with muddy bases for this army. And then as I progress, maybe into the Tyranid side of it, I'm not going to go too crazy. I don't, I want a couple of the big monsters because that's actually what interests me the most with the Tyranids. And then I'm not going to go too hard into the tiny, tiny little creatures. 
but hopefully I can make like a couple of thousand point forces is my goal, I believe. Thousand points cults, thousand point tyranids, and we can go from there. Right, I decided I needed to stop touching it. So I let it dry, I painted the base black, I sat it down and I let it dry. I just, I'm looking at this and I'm like, this doesn't look right. So I gra grabbed the uh, Agrax Earthshade and I absolutely pasted the model in it. I was like, worst case scenario, this really, really messes it up and it's game over for it. Best case scenario, it gives me something that I'm going to be happy with. And you know what? It's not perfect. It is my tester model, so I know it's not perfect, but I do like it. So I'm going to try and do a whole squad. Dun, dun, dun. I know, crazy, right? I'm going to do the rest of this set of gene stealers, which is from Lost Patrol. I'm also going to paint up the scouts completely, and that will give us at least the ability to play Lost Patrol. And then maybe I'll start looking at Space Hulk. But anyway, that's it. I'm getting some glamour shots right now. Hope you enjoyed my rambling. I'm sorry if I rambled on for too much about disliking this scheme. But I thought it was worthwhile showing my thought process as we did the video. And anyway, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in another video again soon. Cheers for watching.